Hey guys, thank you for choosing this video. My name is Christina and I am here to show you guys some stretches that will help you to lose your virginity less painfully. So the first portion of this video will be about our hip stretches and we're going to start first in our straddle, reaching over one of our legs and holding there, there for a few seconds. Once that's over, go ahead and reach inside of the side that they're stretching on. And then reach over top of your right side. and then into the middle of that side. Then raise your arms ready to fall into the middle and really aim to like keep your knees upward instead of rotating it to the like side a quick little note on why hip stretches work for losing your virginity is because like most positions you'll be in is probably missionary or just something with your legs open and you don't want you like your hamstrings to be sore when you like spread your shit open you know so you just really want to make sure that you're able to stretch your legs open as far as you can All right, so once that's over, go ahead and get into your butterfly sit. We're just gonna be holding that for a few seconds. And then reach into the middle and really aim to like push your legs down. So once that's over, I want you guys to go ahead and get into your frog pose and we're going to get down on our elbows and hold this position for a few seconds. This side is not only, this, I'm sorry, this stretch is not only good for your hips, but it's also good for your back, especially if you try to like put your hips as close to the ground as you can while like arching your back up for a bit. The second to last stretch of this routine for the hips is gonna be our straddle wall sit. We're just gonna go ahead and sit next to a wall, unspread our legs open on it, making sure to like reach our feet down to like as much as we can. Just watch what I'm doing, it's hard to explain it. For an even deeper stretch, you can grab onto your ankles or feet and push your legs open down close to you, making sure that your knee is next to your elbow.
After that, we're gonna go into our frog position for just one more time, really helping to like spread your legs open and get a deep stretch as much as you can. And then once that's over, we're going to go into our back portion of this routine, which is gonna start first start us off with our seal stretch. Aim to make sure that your hands is as close to your hips as you can as you lean back and stretch your back. Get on to your hands and knees, sisters, because you're going to be doing that for a while in the future and jump into your cat cow position. You're going to be doing this stretch for five times. I found that with my boyfriend, he does like to do um, positions that required me to be on my hands and knees a lot. So it is good to make sure that I like stretch my back as often as I can. Not even just for sex, just because it generally feels good to be able to move and have mobility like that. And so once we're done with that, we're just going to go into our child's position and hold it there for a few seconds. Sit down on your knees, clasp your hands, and pull back as far as you can. This stretch is good if you're like a little bit freaky into your stretches and you like want your hands tight behind your back or some shit. And like, even so, with your hands behind your back and like your arms behind your back, that requires a stretch too. So you're really gonna wanna make sure that you require these back stretches. And so after that, we're just going to go into our yoga block stretches, which is just holding our elbows onto the black and pushing back our hands as much as we can. This is a good shoulder stretch and back. The last portion of this routine is just going to be our legs and hamstring stretches as much as we can do. We're going to start off with our right lunge and hold it upwards as much as we can. Now get into the lunge on the other side, which is going to be our left. Since I'm more dominant on my right side, I wasn't able to like lift myself up with just my hips. So I had to touch the ground, which is completely fine, sis. A little tip for this stretch is I know you see the way that ass looks right now. So like... If you're able to like do this stretch, you already can like pretty much imagine what I'm like referring to. Even the way where like I bounce my little bounces, like that's really good. It's a nice little position and little confident key for you guys. So for our last stretch of this routine, we're just gonna be going into our pike sit. And we're just gonna open our legs a little bit and reach forward for like even deeper stretch. And I guess I'm gonna thank you guys again for clicking on this video because I know that sometimes it may be hard to like pull yourself out of bed and actually want to do things. But like once you get into the routine of actually doing something, it really does benefit you because a few years back, I just wanted to learn how to do a split. And now like 
look at me now i'm doing all these tricks and moves and i can even further them into my future by doing it in bed so thank you guys <laughs>